But I can't exactly cut corners either because there's a pretty serious boss in front of our mobility source. So let me just get my bearings for a minute here. Uh, lots of ways we can go. He's dead. I came up here and now I get to hurt myself. So remember that guy we fought who was hiding behind this wall? If you actually come up here and drop onto him, you just defeat him instantly and you don't have to do the fight or anything. He has some funny dialogue for you. Because it doesn't kill him. It just, like, incapacitates him. Hello? Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Fair enough. At least not everybody's after our, uh, air quotes, daughter. Why did I do this? Do I even want to go this way yet? I don't think I do. What was over here? I don't even remember. Oh, right, this. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? Um, <laughs> I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I am taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh-oh, Tommy! <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? Dude, could you hand me that bucket of water? You got the bucket. You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! That bucket! Get that bucket of water, quick! You got the bucket. You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. Begs the question what the first tra most tragic one was. And boy, were we not enthusiastic about rescuing those kids. Yeah, we... <laughs> That's the entire purpose of this segment. To burn an orphanage of children. In the post-apocalypse. Wonderful, right? Lisa, everybody. Okay. Oh, which door for I built? Leave. This leads to Rando's army. We don't want to go there just yet. Uh, this way. One of these leads to a town-type place. We're safe in the uh, caves that aren't totally dark. Ah, this is one of the destinations we want to try to get to. We need an item to progress through here. Which means it's a total waste of time for me walking around here. Yes, it is. I'm just going to go back through the door. We'll come back when I know I can actually get through. So, door number three. We need to finish door number four first, and possibly the other ones as well. Let's see. I think, is this one the town? No, this is where we're going to get the item we need. We don't want to go out there just yet. Trust me on that one. So that leaves door number one, which would seem like the most obvious starting place, but I didn't pick it for some reason. It's not a good reason. I think, yeah, yeah, this is how we get these mags. Secret stash, ten mags. Whoa. Anything over here? No. Trying to keep a sharp eye out. I can actually just play this game on OBS. Well, like, not play it on specifically. The screen on OBS is actually larger than the window I'm playing it in right now. So I think I will just look at that screen instead. Hmm. There's significance that you can walk this far into the wall, but I'm not going to tell you why. Uh, the world can be saved. Find her. The world can be saved. Find her. Gotta do it. Over this way, what was there? Uh, let's just not be careless. Ah, uh, yes. This is actually an important place to go. Because of this guy. Oh. 
Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about all life and what happened. Many tales would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm, I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh right, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. Uh, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass. But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyhow, way, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass of cur- er, er, from a glass of course, ho ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath the chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho. I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. And I was climbing into bed. I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Fortnite, er, Fork Knight, was very short. His wife, Karen Fork Knight, played burger. Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of my wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift, to drift off. And then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. And that's the flash that wiped out all of everything. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale's owner's house. Well, his backyard. Uh, Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this BBQ, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Fortnite. Uh, now, early in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the BBQ. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed up kind of fellow. Ho ho ho. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the BBQ. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fortnights. Needless to say, I gave my or needless to say I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words. I want whipped cream. Versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Uh-huh. So anyway. Here's Narn's house. We can climb up on his dresser, but there's not really any reason. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you and all, but we're just going to get a move on. I don't think there's anything on this ledge, is there? There's anything I can reach with it? No, not really. Just some pain. Get used to it. It's in the title, after all. 
Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What, are you following me or something? Ho ho. Anyway, I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is on. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or one. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there is some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. But just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you are a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tail to tell. There and Gwan joined your party. There we go, we've got our second free party member. They don't all come free, but there are plenty of them. He will be a big help in combats. Smooth. Uh, Jesse. Thinking about a girl of his past, I suppose. Uh, we can't actually get this from here. We need that guy to get out of the way. We'll pick up some bottles, though. We can fill them with soup at that guy's camp. And then we'll have some free healing items. Yeah, boy! But there are many other useful things you can make out of bottles, too. So let's see. Bars. You can often find people for hire in bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party formation for when you want to swap party members in and out. Bars are great places. Chug a lug and Terry. They sure are. Do do do. What can we say? Fine. I'm pretty sure they'll all just say what can we say? Fine. Yes. Here we are in one of our safer locations. There's nothing in here, nor will we find anything in here in this playthrough, probably. But future playthroughs, mm -hmm. certainly, surely. Hey there, guy. Hello, old chum. Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. No, you obviously don't know business. Ah, uh, should I just should I? I've only I don't even I can't even afford it anyway. I only got fourteen megs. Mm, let me just check something real quick, because there is a third party member I want to pick up in this town, and I'm pretty sure he's not free. So we need to go find him and check the price and make sure I can afford it before I spend mags on anything else. It's not this one. It's this guy. I have a little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer anymore. Eh. You don't have enough mags for a drink. Being drunk in battle will increase your strength, but decrease your hit rate. Oh no, getting drunk ruins. And we can buy alcohol if we so desire. But we're not gonna. We're not gonna. And then there's this guy. Yo! What's happening, my man? You got a couple of bags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother! An energetic ex-pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutts, El Rage always puts the battle first. In his health second, he has high speed and attack, but somewhat low defense. And yeah, we would need 70 bags to recruit this guy, so... I'll be waiting, my man! So we need another 7 to get this feller. Wait, no, not another 7, another 6. Duly noted. We'll see if we can't find some around town somewhere. It would be nice to have him in the party so that whenever we're fighting things, we all get experience and stuff. 
Because, dear viewer, I intend to, um, well, here's the thing. The game has a massive roster of characters. There's actually 30 different characters you can recruit. Oh. You deal with it. Bad memories. Anyway, as I was saying, the game has 30 different characters you can uh, have in your party. Oh, dang it all. <laughs> Let's just be glad that one wasn't fatal. But, like, uh, you can only have three in your party at a time. And um, what this basically means is the game has a lot of replay value. So one of the things I want to do with it... Oh, found a secret. Eventually. Found another poncho. Oh, boy. Is to do, a, like... Like a bunch of challenge runs to um like and give ourselves an opportunity to see what all these characters are capable of. So for this playthrough I've picked out the three that I want to use, and they're going to be the three we're getting at the start here. We're going to be sticking with Terry, Nern, and Mr. Guy who needs paid twenty to join us. And in future playthroughs we will see what the other characters are capable of. We're at least going to still meet them in this one. I will I'll probably, like, recruit the ones that are convenient. Just to show off their, like, various personalities and plots and stuff. People think this girl is some kind of godsend. That ain't so. It's gonna tear us all apart. Uh, listen here, brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to get me a refreshing bottle of liquor. I do it myself, but I'm all washed up. Ah, okay. This is actually a really good thing. Uh, we can buy some potato liquor for five mags, and he's going to give us substantially more mags than that's worth just for walking over here. So we're going to do that real quick. And that will almost certainly give us enough to pick up our fourth party member for this playthrough. Well, actually, we might be able to get one for free someplace. Ah, uh, dear viewer, just cut me some slack here. Like I said, I don't remember absolutely everything about this game. But if we can find, like, a potato liquor somewhere, we can give it to him and just get free mags. Did we finish? Oh, wait, no, yeah, we finished on this one. We were working on this one. Uh, but yeah, I'm only going to do uh, this initial playthrough as, like, a proper series on the channel. And I want to stream the challenge runs, like, space them out with other games as well, but... They're just down the road. Buzz off. Don't mind, Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. I noticed. But yeah, I think it'll be fun. The game has a lot of replay value, even as it is. And I also thought up a bunch of gimmicks that should make it a little more interesting. We're not dealing with this guy. Um, but that's all in due time. For now, we're just enjoying the game. Honestly, I'm happier now that the world has ended. It helps that my wife and kids aren't here. <laughs> a man who hates his family. Glorious. Let's see. From here, uh, do I need to actually go all the way to the top or can I just... No, I gotta go all the way up. We can get into this house by jumping off this cliff. There we go. Pick up some more bottles. Ow. Uh, what was here? It gets us out here, I guess. And I'm pretty sure the only thing we can do from here is... This guy was quite happy with what we did. What a rush! That was great! Take this! Bottle of perfume! Hey, nice! What the hell, dude? That hurt! What a rush! What a rush! Ow! But you know, this guy was exceptionally rude to us, so we're gonna do that again. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. We'll show him to be sassy. Walk away, jerk. <laughs> there we go. How he's gotten what he deserves. Uh, how many bottles do we have? We've got seven empty bottles. That's actually pretty good. I think I'll fill up on soup after all. Take some soup. Got some soup. More soup. Take all the soup. Bottle of soup. 
It's empty. You took all my soup. That's what you get for being a jerk and complaining about your family that's dead. <laughs>